Hello, this is Simon from BoltonGuitar.co.uk and this is part three of my tutorial on how to play Giuliani's Andante in C major. Um, so the previous part we finished at bar 17. So bar 18 um, starts by placing the fingers, the first finger on C, first fret, second string and the second finger on the third string, second fret A. Um, so we, we start in that, first of all, the last note of bar 17 is the open first string. And now we're pinching the um, third string and second string together. Then we play three first strings open. So that is Beat two, we keep the two fingers down and we play the chord again. That's the third and second string. Play the open first string. And now we're moving the second finger over onto the fourth string, second fret, E. And we're playing the fourth string and second string together. Then we play the open first string again. So bar 18 then is... Bar 19 starts by placing the third finger on the fifth string, third fret C, and the second finger on the third string, second fret A. And we play uh, the fifth string and third string, repeating that open first string. We play the chord again, the C and the A, open first string, and now we back to the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string E. We're playing the uh, fourth string and second string together and then the open first string. So bar 18 and 19 is now uh, bar 20 starts again with our uh, C and A, so that's the second finger again on the third string and the first finger on the second string first fret. We're playing the two notes together, that's the third string and second string. The open first string, and now we've got a little scale passage running down, which is F, which is the, the first fret, and then E, which is the first string open. But there is a grace note on this, so we play the chord, the open first string, and then before we play the F, we uh, place the little finger on the third fret first string, ready to play the G, and we do a quick slur or a quick pull off down to the uh, F on the first fret first string. And then we play the open first string. So that is now. We continue the scale down by playing the D at the third fret second string, along with the open fourth string D, so we've got the octave Ds. We do the run to the C, first fret, second string, open second string B, and then the second finger on to the third fret, uh, the third string, second fret A. So that is now. Bar 21, we now play the first finger on the first fret, third string, G sharp, and we're playing that along with the sixth string bass note. We do a hammer on or a slur onto that second fret, third string A. We play the open second string, and then we play back to the third string, first fret, G sharp. So that's. play the sixth string open then the E second fret fourth string and then the E open first string followed by the D on the third fret of the second string which I used a little finger on. Um, so our first 
for a bar, so that's bar 18 through to bar 21, is this. and bar 23 are a repeat of bars 18 and 19 so that is now bar 24 and um, we've got a partial F chord so we need the second finger on the third string second fret the first finger on the second string first fret and the third finger on the fourth string third fret so we're playing the third string second string fourth string third string on beat two of bar 24 we have the fourth string open followed by the second string open we place the second finger on the fourth string second fret E and the first finger on the third string first fret G sharp so that so bar 24 is and bar 25 is uh, basically an A minor arpeggio so we put the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string and the third finger on the second fret of the third string giving us E and A and we play the fifth string open we play the third string then this fourth string using the little finger place it on the third fret of the fifth string and then we take that off and play the open string so that is So, from bar 18, we have this. And uh, now over to the uh, right hand. Um, so to continue um, at bar 18, and um, we're playing the first string with the middle finger, and then we're pinching the third string and the second string together with the thumb and index finger. And then we continue the open st uh, first strings with alternate fingers. Uh, you can use either middle and third fingers or the alternate index and middle fingers. Pinch again. Pinch again with the thumb in the index finger with the open first string. And then pinch again the open first string. Now, this uh, little scale passage is with alternate fingers. coming down that way um, and then onto the third string we've got the hammer on but and you're playing that with the thumb index finger middle finger plays the second string open and then we're back to the third string with the index finger so so far we've got play that bass note with the thumb, index finger, first string with the middle finger 
and then the second string with the index finger. So uh, beat two of bar 21 would be. Twenty-two bar, uh, bar twenty-two is just a repeat. Now bar twenty-four, where we have the partial F chord, we're playing. I play the third string with the thumb, the second string with the index finger, then the fourth string with the thumb, and then again the third string with the index finger. So it's. Then we've got the fourth string open. I play that second string now with the middle finger. The thumb plays the fourth string and I play the third string with the index finger. So bar 24, right hand is. Um, Bar 25, the A minor arpeggio is thumb playing the fifth string, middle finger plays the third string, index finger plays the fourth string, and then thumb, thumb. So it's. Uh, so that takes us to the um, second beat in bar 25. and. That's where I'll leave it now today. Um, so we'll be continuing from the end of bar 25 um, into the next section on the next video. And uh, I hope this uh, video helps you to play this uh, piece of music. Uh, the music and tabs are available from my website, www.boltonguitar.co.uk. And, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.